Halloween candy. You love it, I love it. It is a staple of the American society. And this time around, we are doing the biggest Halloween candy tier list on Tier Maker. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. But Halloween candy, you love it, I love it. It is a staple for all trick or treaters to go out and just get random candy from various strangers' houses. <laughs> Uh, I've only gone trick-or-treating at least twice in my lifetime, but I've always loved dressing up in Halloween costumes and just handing out candy to the trick-or-treaters, whoever comes by our door. But anyway, I'm going to rank the Halloween candies that appear on this tier list from S ranking to the greatest to F tier, which is belongs in the trash. And I also have two little boxes at the bottom. Rankings going never had before, where if I've never had the candy before, or I've never even ate it before, or for that matter, uh, never heard of it, it's going in that tier list. Or why, which is the why are you giving this to me on Halloween? Which makes no sense. I'm going to put it in that tier list. But yeah, I have a whole tier list of, uh, Halloween candy right here and uh, I'm going to basically rank them which one will pop up in the S tier list or the F tier list because I know everybody has their own preferences and tastes especially when it comes to candy or just Halloween candy in general and to get so much candy especially on Halloween is a dream come true you're basically getting free candy for dressing up in costumes and going to neighbors doors doing trick-or-treat but nowadays we have the truck or treat where people are parked in uh, huge large spaces and they give out the candy to the trick or treaters. People don't even go door to door nowadays, which is just sad. Ugh, things have changed so much over the years and I hate it. Ugh, especially when COVID hit and everything and it was just, uh, we didn't even really have any kids because of the trick or treating uh, COVID trick-or-treaters because of covid excuse me <clears throat> but nonetheless i'm going to rank candies and i'm going to give you my honest opinions about it i hope you guys are ready because this one's going to be a doozy this is leo hightower's the biggest halloween candy tier list Okay, before this video begins, I just want to express that this is my honest opinion on which candies I think are the best to get on Halloween. Your opinion is going to differ from mine, and if you want to make a tier list like this, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Okay? Alright, let's get started, shall we? Alright, 100 grand. Hmm. I do still enjoy me some 100 grand. It's been a while since I've actually had one and everything. But the sheerness of the chocolate along with the crispy rice is candies and of course the uh, caramel. It's always still a joy, but I've always found it to, but nowadays I find it to be boring. But every so often, uh, I still enjoy a hundred gram bar, so let me see. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna put it in the B tier bracket. Hundred gram is still good after all this time. It's still good. Excuse me. Anyway. Mounds. Uh, while I do enjoy dark chocolate nowadays, uh, I can't really eat coconut, sadly. I hate coconut with the flaming passion. But if you if you guys like uh, coconut and everything like that, then hey, props to you and everything. But I can't really do mounds. I'm going to put it in the D tier bracket. I've never really cared much for it. Anyway. Uh... <clears throat> Next up is Three Musketeers, and, uh, hmm, Three Musketeers, chocolate with nougat and whatnot, it's still a good chocolate bar, I enjoy Three Musketeers, it's still tasty to this day, I still enjoy Three Musketeers bar, a lot better than I do Baby Ruth half the time, but yeah, I'm gonna put Three Musketeers in the B bracket, I still enjoy Three Musketeers bar to this day, it's always, it's always a pleasure, it's always a pleasure. Next up is Ring Pop. Uh, uh, the lollipop basically on a ring that you can eat and they always come in wacky flavors. There's from just the regular to the 
wacky and uh, sour flavors too. It's been a while since I've had a ring pop, but if you want my opinion, ring pops are always good. It's basically, it's a lollipop without a stick. And uh, I'm gonna put it in the AT bracket. I enjoy ring pops, especially if I was to get them on Halloween. Airheads candy, well, airheads have changed after the years and everything. Now they aren't the long taffy-like candy like they used to. Now they are the little dot candies and I enjoy airheads. I really, really enjoy them. Every so often, I will pop a airhead and I will be like, hmm. But yeah, hmm. What would I give it a ranking? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna put it in the A-tier bracket. Yeah. Payday. It's mostly just caramel with salted peanuts and a lovely source of protein. Paydays are always tasty, although a lot of people will complain that it's just caramel with peanuts, but hey, paydays are l awesome. I still love them to this day. I'm gonna put it, another one in the A tier bracket. Almond Joy, that also goes in the D tier bracket. Chocolate with coconut, sadly. I cannot do coconut, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, apples or fruit? Mmm. What would I say to apples or uh, fruit in general? Well, I think they're okay and everything. A nice healthy alternative to uh, uh, candy, but you know those old stories about people putting razors in the apples and uh, the candy and whatnot. Gotta be careful of that. And I never believed that. I always thought it was just an urban myth and whatnot. But I don't really care for apples. Especially if you were to get them on Halloween. Hey, if you did enjoy getting an apple as a kid, especially for trick-or-treating, then, you know. But I'm just going to put it in the Y tier list. I never really cared for... I would never really care. But anyway, moving on. Baby Roops. Chocolate, peanuts, caramel, and nougat. It's, it's a very lovely... A very lovely combination. And they're very sweet, too. I've counted many times where I've bitten down into a baby roof nowadays, and I'll, my teeth will just be like, ah! I guess because they're so sweet now. Ugh. But regardless, though, I'm going to put baby roofs in the A tier bracket. Blow pops are, are very good, too. Fully favorite candy on the outside, bubblegum on the inside. Blow pops. And they come in various flavors now. I don't know if they have newer flavors of, of Blow Pop, but still, Blow Pops are very tasty. They are very good to have, especially. I'm going to put it in the S tier bracket because it's the best of both worlds. Blue Paper Candy on the outside, Bubblegum on the inside. From cherry, grape, strawberry, sour apple, and watermelon, five different flavors. Although I wish they would get into more flavors, but regardless, Bottle Caps. The Wonka Candy where it's flavor bottle top. B bottle caps from root beer, orange, grape, cola, and whatnot. They're always a fun treat to have and everything. Seriously, I enjoy the bottle caps for what they are. I'm going to put them in the B tier bracket. If you haven't had a bottle cap before, have give one a try. You won't be disappointed. Seriously, I love bottle caps. Now, Butterfinger. Chocolate and crunchy peanut butter. Who, what could go wrong? Seriously, Butterfingers are a staple, especially when it comes to the candy. And I do enjoy Butterfinger BBs. I haven't had those in a long time. Just, mm, a steer bracket. But now that I think about it, I should probably move. No, I'll wait until I get to that much later on and everything. Candy corn. Traditional candy corn. Uh... I really don't like candy corn. I'm sorry. It goes in the F tier bracket, and the reason for that is because candy corn is a staple of Halloween candy and whatnot, but I wouldn't really bother trying to get into them, basically. I just I just don't like candy corn in general. It's just one of the things that I do not like, and I just, uh, I'm sorry to anyone who likes candy corn. Now, what's this one? Oh, circus peanuts. Circus peanuts are basically like the candy corn, but it's a lot better. I enjoy the circus peanuts, and I would say they're pretty average. They're nothing to write home about. They're writing. They're nothing to write home about, and uh, I'm gonna put them in the C tier bracket. They're always good. Circus peanuts are just. Mm, they're good. I enjoy them. 
Seriously, they're good. Okay, Hershey's uh, cookies and cream candy. Compared to the regular Hershey's, they are a delight. And uh, I, w I enjoy getting them because you're basically getting white chocolate with co uh, little cookies in them. And they're tasty. They're very tasty. If you've never tried a, a Hershey's bar with white chocolate and the little cookies in it, a cookies and cream bar, you definitely need to. I'm going to put it in the A tier bracket. Now, cow tails. Uh, I don't ever remember having a cow tail before. Are they any good? I've never had them before. I'm sorry, but I have to put it in the uh, never had before bracket. Seriously. Uh... If anyone knows what cow tails taste like or what they are flavored like, please leave them in the comments section below. I've had pixie sticks before, but never a cow tail. Nestle Crunch, chocolate with those little crispy rices in them. Always a delight. You can't beat a Nestle Crunch bar. S to your bracket. Dots, the uh, hmm, the uh, lovely candy flavored gumdrops. Basically, gumdrops. I do enjoy them, especially because they're made by the Tootsie Roll or company. But yeah. Mm. I'm gonna put it in the B tier bracket. I do enjoy dots every so often. Bubble gum, double bubble. You can't beat double bubble, especially bubble gum, especially on Halloween. That is a staple. And I'm gonna put it in the S tier bracket, basically. But uh, if you want my S opinion, don't just get uh, the grape flavor double bubble get the regular double bubble because that alone is just mm. and uh, I'm gonna put dum dum lollipops in the S tier bracket and why because dum dum lollipops are the best of all of the world you never know what you're gonna get especially in regards to flavor and lollipops are always a delight whether it's the regular flavors or you get the mystery flavor which you never know what's gonna be <laughs> But yeah, Dum Dum's lollipops are must-have, especially because you're yeah, getting a lollipop and it's various flavors, root beer, uh, cotton candy, uh, dragon fruit, which I've had before, the mango peach, uh, fruit punch, and uh, the mystery flavor, green apple. Ugh. God, I love Dum Dum's. But anyway, fruit by the foot. The fruit by the foot candy. Hmm. I've never, I've never really gotten fruit. Uh, by the foot um, for Halloween candy but fruit by the foot is always tasty seriously it's a tasty candy they come in variety of flavors and I just I do enjoy it ever so often just but <laughs> I bet it's nothing compared to the Sakura gummy candies where it's like long long man <laughs> I made it funny but that's also going in my reaction video, the Sakura Gummy Candy uh, uh, videos. I'm gonna put it in the. Hmm. I'm gonna put it in the C tier bracket. Good. I do enjoy. Um. I do enjoy fruit by the foot every so often. Now the variety flavor. <laughs> Screw it. The variety flavor Tootsie Roll candies. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Tootsie Rolls are a staple, especially in uh, the Halloween candy, uh, Halloween candy bracket. And uh, every so often we get a whole lot of Tootsie Rolls. But the the uh, flavor candy Tootsie Rolls are, I'd say they're good. They're pretty good. Going in the B tier bracket. If you are getting candy and you get one of those, then you might enjoy them a little bit more than the Tootsie Rolls. I'm just saying. They're good, especially vanilla or cherry. Anyway, Haribo gummy bears. Gummy bears are always delicious. I enjoy gummy bears. Ugh. Seriously, I have a love relationship with gummy bears, and I'm gonna put it in the A tier bracket. That's basically my opinion and everything like that, especially if it's chewy candy and whatnot. Car uh, gummy bears are delicious. Uh, especially Haribo candy, but now that I think about it, I'm gonna put it in the S tier bracket. Hershey's chocolate with almonds. Hmm. S tier bracket. I love me some Hershey's chocolate, but with almonds, it's just. Hmm. Uh, 
and I love me some almond candy. Seriously. If you never had a Hershey bar with almonds, you don't know what you're missing out because it's basically Hershey's chocolate, but you have almonds in it. It's just, oh, it's so delicious. And regular Hershey's chocolate, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it a little lower in the A bracket because it's a Hershey bar. You can't go wrong with a Hershey bar. It's a must-have. Swiss hot cocoa. Why? I don't get it. Why are you giving me a packet of hot chocolate for Halloween? Ha Halloween candy in general. I don't get that. Ugh. Jawbreakers. Hmm. Put them in your mouth and suck on them, basically. Jawbreakers are always delicious. Uh, but tr don't swallow them. C2 bracket. I haven't had a jawbreaker in a long, 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 long time. And it's just, uh. Ugh. There are so many candies that I haven't tried in a good while and had. Just, uh. But the next one, Jelly Belly, the variety of jelly beans that can come in various flavors. Hmm. Where do I rank Jelly Bellies? Well, I do enjoy Jelly Bellies, and I haven't had any in a while, but Jelly Bellies are nice. But, hmm. The variety of flavors, you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> At least it's not like Harry Potter, where it's like, Alas, you're wax. <laughs> but, hmm, let's see. I'm gonna put them in the C tier bracket. Jelly bellies, jelly beans are always delicious. But careful on which flavors you get. Now, Jolly Ranchers are going in the S tier bracket because Jolly Ranchers are delicious. I don't care what anyone says. You never know what flavors you're gonna get unless, of course, you look at the pack. And watermelon, green apple, cherry, and grape are my absolute favorite. Seriously, you can't beat Jolly Ranchers. Although they're hard candy, you just suck on them. You put them in your mouth and you suck them like, mmm. Mmm. Seriously. Ah. Uh. Now, this next one, let me see. This is Jolly Rancher gum? No, wait, I can't read what this one is. I'd have to zoom in on it, but I'm gonna move on to the next one. Uh, the Sour Drop Candies? Never had them before, sadly. I have to put them in the never had before. Kit Kats. Mmm, the in-between stuff. Mmm. Give me a break, give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. A ranking! Kit Kats are always delicious, especially if it's the candy. Uh, chocolate candy. Laffy Taffies? Oh, Taffy is always delicious. Just, mmm. You can't be Taffy. I love Laffy Taffy. It's so good. It's so delicious. And the variety of candies is always good. You never know what you're gonna get. Ugh. It, and they come with little jokes or riddles on their packaging. Hmm. I'm gonna put it in the A tier bracket. Now, lemon heads are delicious sour candies. I haven't had a lemon head in years. But they are still good. I'm gonna put it in this C tier bracket. Sorry, sorry, but that's just my ass opinion. Twizzlers. I do like some licorice every so often, but uh I do enjoy licorice, but after a while, I really just hmm. Hmm. C tier bracket. Twizzlers are very good. I like them. I like them every so often. It's just, ah. Uh, they are good. I still enjoy a Twizzlers every now and then. Just eating that licorice. Just, hmm. Okay. This next one is, uh, oh yeah. The Jolly Rancher Lollipops, if I'm right. And, uh, if I'm right, Jolly Rancher Lollipops are basically in the same tier list as, uh, Jolly Ranchers. But the problem is, is that, uh, you're basically just uh, having a lollipop and a jolly uh, in Jolly Rancher form. I'm gonna put it in the A tier bracket. Now, Mike and Ike's always a treat to have Mike and Ike's, and they've recently they recently had uh, various flavors such as tropical and regular. Uh, if you get Mike and Ike's, then uh, hey, that's more fruity candy for you. I'm gonna put it in the hmm. A or B? A or B? Let's see. Uh, B tier bracket. Mike and Ike's are always tasty. Milk Duds. Mmm. That lovely chocolate and caramel. Just just biting into one. Just mmm. 
It's so... It's just so... Ugh. Milk duds. You gotta love them. I'm gonna put it in the B tier bracket. Because... It, after a while, the caramel will stick to your teeth. And speaking of candy, Milky Ways. I've kinda... Well, we've kinda... Lost, uh, interest in Milky Ways because we have so many nowadays. For those of you who still love Milky Ways, hey, I give you nothing but love and respect, but after a while, I guess Milky Ways are just one of the common candies, especially for Halloween. I'm gonna put in the C tier bracket. Because, we used to love Milky Ways. We still do, but, uh, we just don't enjoy them as much. M&Ms. S tier bracket because you can't beat m and M. seriously whether they be milk chocolate or peanut and I see peanut right there that's also going in the S tier bracket R regular m and M's, m and M's with the peanuts in them just you sealed your deal because you open up a pack of m and M's and eat them just mm, always a treat always a treat seriously now Mr. Good Bars peanuts with uh, chocolate it's a match made in heaven you get the best of both worlds, especially because of the Hershey's ball with almonds. But uh, you'd probably want more. I'm gonna put it in the A tier bracket. And uh, Nerd's Rope. Hmm. I do love the Nerd's Rope. S tier because Nerd's Rope is simply Nerd's in a gummy rope, and they are. Del it is delicious. Seriously, you're basically eating some Nerd's on a gummy rope. And, uh, nerds is just, mm, same for regular nerds. I'm going to put nerds in the S tier bracket because that they need to go in the S tier bracket. Excuse me, everyone. Now, the next one is, hmm, what is, what are these? Excuse me. zoom in to see what these other candies are sorry but anyway pop rocks i've never had pop rocks before but i do know once you put them in your mouth you get that crackling sound just <laughs> but um, i'd have to put them in the uh b tier bracket because they are good but i've never tried that little experiment with a soda if you know what i mean anyway popcorn why if it was uh, candy coated popcorn, especially this, uh, the sugary popcorn and whatnot, then I would enjoy it. But regular popcorn? No, I'm sorry, but I don't think so. I'm going to put it in the DT bracket. I'm sorry. But if it's, uh, you know, um, decorated or sweet popcorn, then yes, I, c I would enjoy it because popcorn is good. At any day and age, fun dip. The little candy where you lick the sticks and dip them into the sugary powder below and you suck it and stick it back in your mouth. Just mmm. Mmm. B tier bracket. Yeah. Now, push pop. Never had push pops before. I'm sorry. Uh, I've never had a push pop before, especially in Halloween. Red Hots. The little flaming hot candies with the cinnamon flavor. Mmm. Never had those before either. Well, I, I've had Red Hot. I've ate a Red Hot before, but never gotten one in Halloween. So, yeah. Mmm. C tier bracket. Reese's Pieces. Reese's peanut butter with, uh, and little m and shapes. Basically, you're basically eating M&M's, but they're basically Reese's Pieces, and, uh... Hmm... B tier bracket, I do enjoy Reese's Pieces every so often, and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are going to win the A tier list, because... I enjoy Reese's Peanut Butter Cup a little bit more than the Reese's Pieces. If you want bite-sized candy, have a Reese's Pieces. If you want a full Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, have a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Rollos are basically... Chocolate, ro uh, chocolate little bite sizes with uh, and, ca and caramel rolled into one, and uh, Rolos are always so delicious. Seriously, and sometimes, especially during Christmas, we would get uh, Reese, uh, we would get uh, Hershey Kisses and uh, Rolos, and uh, some of those variety candies, the little miniatures. 
I'm gonna put Rolos in the S tier bracket, A tier bracket, because who doesn't love a good Rolo? Anyway, moving on. We got Sweet Tarts. Mmm, Sweet Tarts are very delicious. S tier bracket, because I do enjoy Sweet Tarts, especially whenever I got them. But at least I did not really, but at least they're not like the other candy that if they were on here. Hmm. And I, oh yeah, Smarties. But I enjoy Sweet Tarts a lot more than Smarties. Anyway, Skittles. A tier bracket because Skittles are basically, uh, hmm. are delicious. Uh, especially the tro the tropical fruit Skittles. I enjoy the regular Skittles and I enjoy the tropical Skittles. But I'd probably move them into the S tier bracket because who doesn't love Skittles? Taste the rainbow! <laughs> Slim Jim. Why? I don't get it. Why the world would you give someone a Slim Jim? For Halloween, I know that people enjoy beefy, spicy, they see uh, beef jerky and whatnot, but why a Slim Jim? I don't need to snap into a Slim Jim for Halloween! Nah. Smarties, I'm gonna put them uh, in the B tier bracket, because I do enjoy Smarty candy every so often, but not as much. Snickers are going in the S tier bracket, because who doesn't love peanuts, caramel, and uh, uh, that chocolate, seriously. How can you dislike Snickers? Especially if it's the different variety of Snickers, especially if they have almond Snickers, just mmm. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Sour Patch Kids. I've had a few Sour Patch Kids, especially during Halloween where we bought some and it was a variety pack with tons of candy in it. Sour, sweet, gone. Hmm. Hmm. I put it in the A tier bracket. Sour Punch. Hmm. Sour Punch is always good. Another A tier bracket. And Starburst. That's another A tier bracket. Swedish Fish. Never had before. Sorry. Uh, Tootsie Roll Pops. Basically, Tootsie Rolls like uh, Blow Pops. As as lovely floof floof. Fruit flavor candid on the inside, on the outside, and it has a delicious chocolatey tootsie roll. But how many licks does it really take to get to the center of a tootsie pop? Hmm. According to records, I would say over 300. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the S tier bracket because tootsie rolls, tootsie pops are good. Tootsie rolls, uh, I would say B tier bracket. Okay, because uh. Just like the fruit flavor ones, eh, they're okay, I guess you could say. Now, trolley gummy worms. Hmm. Trolley gummy worms? Who doesn't love a good gummy worm? A to your bracket? Because I do enjoy some uh, gummy worms. <laughs> Seriously. And considering uh, Halloween and everything like that, trolley, trolley, trolley. But I wanted to try making a recipe where it's like, wor uh, uh, a cup of dirt with worms in it, and it's a brownie mix with uh, a brownie mix with trolley gummy worms coming out of it, or just gummy worms in general. <laughs> Nestle Twix, A tier bracket because chocolate with caramel and two cookies, mm, simply delicious. But those little miniature Twix. Twixes, uh, they're gone before you know it. Twizzlers, candy, licorice, mmm. C tier bracket because it's the same as the regular Twizzlers. Same for this one right here. Twizzlers, cherry, uh. Now, Warheads. Ooh, the sour candy where you suck on Warheads. You guys remember my, uh, taste uh taste video where i did sour uh, sour warheads right you guys uh is well you remember the video but yeah <laughs> i'm gonna put warheads in the a tier bracket because i do enjoy a little sour every so often and the sour patch uh, the second one sour patch oh sour patch melon candies 
I'm gonna put in the B tier bracket because uh, Sour Patch Kids are much better over the just the regular candies. Just uh. Anyway, moving on. The Welchers Caramel, the Hard Caramel candies. Hmm. A tier bracket because I do enjoy hard caramel every so often, but softer caramel is so much better. It's just mm, so much better. And whoopers are going in the A tier bracket because who doesn't love a chocolate malted ball? Seriously, whoopers are tasty. They are very good. I love a whooper every so often. Now I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna zoom in and see what these other candies are right here. So give me a minute. I want to find out what these two candies are right there. A few minutes later. Okay, I looked up the candies a while ago, and they're a type of Jolly Rancher, and this one is uh, one of the types of suckers. But I can't really find out exactly where they are. But that's okay, basically. If anyone does know exactly what these Jolly Rancher candies are, and what the, the name of those little sucker candies are, then please leave a, let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, I'm going to put these candies mouse will stop acting up in the hmm I'm gonna put the little suckers in the C tier bracket because they're they're very enjoyable every so often because you're wondering like what flavor should I have today should I have a, a strawberry should I have a cherry should I have a grape or a green apple but yeah and the Jolly Rancher candies whatever these are I'm gonna put them in the B tier bracket but yeah and there you go. Oh, there is my tier list of Halloween candy. Which ones are the best and which ones belong in the trash and which ones I've never had before and why are you giving this to me on Halloween? <laughs> but that's basically my honest opinion. I'm sure that yours are probably going to be different from everyone else's. So yeah, if you guys like what you see, and if you guys like this video, then please leave a like, leave a comment, and click on the subscribe button for more. And tickle the bell so that way you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos and everything like that. Thank you guys very much for watching. This is Leo Hightower, and I hope to see all you beautiful sons of guns again next time. Until then, stay golden. Uh, I hope that we can get some Halloween candy for this year and everything like that because money is so tight. I can only hope for the best. Peace out, peeps. Oh, and uh, before I forget, there's more Oktoberfest goodness for you peeps coming soon. Maybe a few reactions, maybe some more gaming videos, so stay tuned!